All right, guys, so I'm going to try and compare and contrast um, Leftos' roster editor compared to Vlad's Redditor and kind of show you the differences between the two programs that we have for roster editing for NBA 2K13. So let's go ahead and load them both up. And we can go to Tools and load up the 2K13 roster editor that uh, Leftos made. So we're going to open up the same roster in both because I am silly like that. So, from basic appearances, you can kind of see that both, they edit stuff. I mean, <laughs> Leftos' tool only has the players, teams, jerseys, staff, and playbooks, and team stats. Redditor obviously has plenty more stats. Now, the number one big thing between these two tools is that Leftos' tool is free. Uh, it doesn't cost anything, and it's open source. So if any of you want to go in and add a new column or know how to do programming with that stuff, um, you can go ahead and do that. The Redditor is not open source, and it is a pay-for program to edit other tabs other than the, the Players tab. So that's just something to keep in mind that, you know, there, it's kind of... There's that licensing difference. The other main difference is that the Leftos' roster editor does not allow for any name editing whatsoever. You cannot change the names of the players, the teams. You can go into it, but you can't. Uh, the jerseys and which jersey file you can't customize um, which one they can edit or not. The staff doesn't even have names that show up. And th that is a big difference. Whereas I can take Drew Holiday and call him Drew Sucka. I, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I can change any name in the Redditor to whatever I want. Celtics Arena, no longer. TD, Garden, baby. Uh, teams tab. Hey, Kings, how do you like becoming the Sonics? And I can change that to Seattle. Something that I cannot do in Leftos' roster editor because you can't do anything with names. I mean, I can go to the jerseys tab over here, and let's say I want to have instead of UH105, I can just call it um, Prac Celtics Home. And that will be the if file that the game will load for that uniform instead of UH105. Now, Leftos' tool does allow for uh, not it's, it's smart pasting essentially so let's say I take I don't know more or less the 76ers and uh, we'll just load up open office calc for a second and paste it in here you can see the IDs and all the headers show up here so let's say I want to change the numbers but let's say I want to sort the players by their numbers and then I can make edits to that's too high <laughs> but I can change the numbers as I wish which you can do in the you know in the tool that's nothing too amazing but instead I don't have to sort this back I can just keep the IDs just like that all jumbled and everything copy everything click anywhere in the tool I can click over here paste and right here only these changed and they got sorted by their ID because of the smart pasting. Redditor on the other hand, if I go ahead and copy out this basic information and I'll just paste it down here, tab it out. As you can see I don't get the IDs, I don't have all the information and when I, if I change the sorting of this it pastes back in weird. So if I just sort them by their names copy and paste them in see everything gets jumbled and now that's kind of messed up um, there are ways around this but I'm just talking about basic copy paste in that's nothing too uh, yeah, that's nothing too bad to have to keep it sort of like that but that's just one of the differences between the two tools what is nice is that the Redditor will allow you to export to CSV and we will export the entire file like that copy all of this and go to tools was coming here 
and now we have CSV files of all of this. And this will allow for stuff like Leftos' uh, roster workshop to completely mess in, just do amazing things with the roster in CSV form that you can then import right back in. So this is completely a huge, great feature of the Redditor. I think it, what it really boils down to is that the Redditor is a much more powerful editor in comparison to the roster editor. But you can't always beat free and open source. Um, Leftos is done developing the tool, but again, it's open source. Anyone can add to it if they want to. It's just a matter of understanding the roster files, the hex editing, and uh, getting it, knowing the programming to get it updated and out. So, I mean, I, it's difficult to compare the two tools because the Redditor is much, much more powerful of a tool. Um, it edits everything and anything in the roster file where the roster editor does it. <coughs> I mean, but it's just difficult for me to say that this is a bad tool, though, because it's not. It is a freaking amazing roster editor, and it's done the job so well for the past, what is it, six months now. So there's no knocks and leftovers whatsoever in comparison to these two tools. He deserves all the praise and thanks for making this tool. But if there's stuff that you still want to edit that you cannot edit with this roster editor, you're going to need to have to upgrade to the editor, if you will. And like I said before, it does cost money uh, to edit things other than the Players tab. But what you could do with the game is limitless. With the, well, almost limitless with this tool. So I hope that breaks down the basic comparison between the two tools. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys in the next tutorial. If you need more information for uh, tutorials on how to use the Redditor or this roster editor by Leftos, uh, check the link in the description to all the tutorials, and there's tons of information in there. So hope you guys learned something. I'll see you in the next video.